Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this sports opener animation is very easy to create and it is done entirely using After Effects. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and I'm recording this tutorial for the second time because first time someone forgot to press the record button. So now I have to do this all again. So you better hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe because I'm putting this much effort for you guys. So let's continue. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and you can see that I've already imported a couple of these images. So these are just simple cutouts of some athletes which you can just have your own. So I just downloaded them from Unsplash. Now I also have this stock footage of this glass breaking so i'll put a link in the description from where you can download this for free so once you are done with this just import them in after effects and you are ready to go so we will begin by creating a new composition let's call this one main width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want just click on ok now we are going to create our background first so right click new and let's create a solid just make it black color or a little bit dark gray something like this just click on ok so here we have our background now i'm going to select this press ctrl d to create one more copy and i'm going to apply the fill effect so let's search for fill and let's drag it onto the bottom layer and for the color i'm going to set this to white now we can select the top layer press s and i can just simply scale this down to have this very nice white edge now in order to make this even we can uncheck these values now you can just play around with these values individually something like that so here you can see we have this white outline perfect so once you're done with this we are ready to add our text so for that select the text tool now for this example i'm using this norwester font but again it's completely up to you, you can use whatever you want so just click and you can type whatever you want so i'm going to type mic let's align it to the center again if you're not able to see the align panel go to windows and just enable it now make sure that its anchor point is in the center so for that select the layer hold on the control key and double click on this let's press s and i'm going to just scale this up quite a bit something like this now let's animate it so i'm going to press s so we already have the scale so let's add a keyframe and let's just zoom in let's move a couple of frames ahead and i'm going to just make this little bit smaller then again move a couple of frames ahead and just make this smaller once again and after that somewhere around here i'm going to just make it to the size which i want so once you're done with this we are going to select all the keyframes and right click toggle hold keyframe so that we have this stepping kind of motion perfect now i also want this to have a little bit of position animation so let's press p and let's add a keyframe for position let's press u to see all the keyframes now i want this to be final position so let's place the keyframe over here now in the beginning i'm going to just move this little bit down so that we have this sort of motion now once you're done with this we can add our athlete image so it's completely up to you, you can pick whatever you want let's try this one so let's drag it over here and let's scale this down so you can see that right now it's colored so it's completely up to you, you can use colored images or black and white but for this one i'm going to use black and white so let's apply tint let's drag it over here just making sure that everything is recording yeah so everything is recording perfect so here we have the tint now i'm going to apply brightness and contrast uh, let's drag it over here now just play around with these values to get a look that you think goes with your style so i'm going to pick this one so yeah, i think this looks good perfect so once you're done with this let's place this somewhere around here perfect so now i want this to reveal from the top so in order to do that let's search for linear wipe and let's drag this onto this now if i increase the completion you can see that it will start cutting it off but i want this to be from the top so i'm going to just rotate it or let's set this to zero something like this so now we can animate it so let's set this to 100 and let's pick a point somewhere around here let's add a keyframe for transition completion move couple of frames ahead set this to zero so we have this sort of reveal maybe we need more timing like that so i'm going to select this press ctrl d because i want this to have a white reveal first so i'm going to just move this layer later on let's search for fill and let's drag it onto the bottom layer 
now it's completely up to you. you can pick whatever color you want i'm going to go with white uh, if i play back you can see we have our image appearing perfect now you will notice one more thing that we have this very weird white outline which is because of this bottom image so we can fix that by simply applying simple choker effect so let's select this and drag it onto the bottom layer now if you increase this choker amount so you can see that it will get rid of this white line something like that perfect so once you are done with this let me just quickly do this more perfect so here you can see we have this now we can also add a little bit of drop shadow just to make this nice let's drag it onto this now for distance i'm going to just increase this little bit and let's increase the softness so that we have this very nice shadow like this so before we proceed if you enjoy my content and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will find access to the tutorial project files and some exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so you can support me over there link for that is in the description so let's continue so we have our text we have our image now let's add some animation to the image as well for that i'm going to add a new null object so go to layer new let's add a null object let's select both of these and i'm going to parent it to the null now i'm going to press s to add a keyframe for scale now in the beginning i'm going to just increase the scale quite a bit something like this now we can select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph if your graph looks different then make sure you are using the speed graph not the value graph let's select the endpoints and i'm going to make the graph to look something like this perfect now if i go back now let's play so you can see we have this very nice scaling down animation so once it has revealed i want the text to move to the right side and the image to the left side but again it's completely up to you can make it move to whatever direction you want so let me just quickly do that so for that i'm going to press the null select the null press p let's add a keyframe so we have it over here let's press u to see the keyframes as well and somewhere around here i'm going to just move it to the left side something like that perfect maybe we can add a little bit of more spacing perfect now let's do the same thing with the text but in the opposite direction so i'm going to select this press p we already have keyframe so let's add one over here let's add one over here and i'm going to just move it to the right side something like this now at this point i don't want this text i want the full name so for that i'm going to select the text tool and we can type our full name so here we have our full name let me just quickly position it so let's place it somewhere around here perfect now i want this to move with the bottom text so i'm going to place it on top of this now we can parent it to the main text something like this so you can see that both of these texts will move but i don't want them to be visible somewhere around here so i'm going to just trim this text over here now i want the bottom text to be invisible after this so i'm going to just trim it right at there so you can see that as it is moving it will switch from this big text to the small one now we can play around with the easing so let's select these keyframes and these as well now you can press f9 let's go to the graph and if i zoom in let's change the graph so i'm going to just make it to look something like this so that we have this very nice easing let me just quickly play around with the position so let's make it over here perfect so here you can see we have this transition and let's play around with the final position of the text perfect now if you want you can play around with scale and everything so i think this is looking fine so once we're done with this we are ready to add some elements in the background as well so for that i'm going to use this stock glass footage so let's drag it and place it below everything first i'm going to change its mode from normal to add so if i just move this little bit ahead you can see that we have this breaking glass and on this one we are going to apply tint to make this black and white and also curves let's drag it over here now i'm going to add a little bit of contrast so let's make it like that perfect now i don't want this background footage to be smooth i want this to have a stop motion kind of vibe so for that i'm going to search for posturize time and let's drag it over here for the frame rate i'm going to set this to 12 now let's play around with its position so somewhere around here yeah i think this is looking fine perfect 
so at this point i want these particles to come from this angle as well so for that i'm going to select this press ctrl d let's press r and let's rotate it to something like 90 degree now i'm going to just place it to this side something like that and i'm going to play around with the time with its timing so that it comes only when we have this moving to the side so if i play back you can see we have this and yeah, i think this is looking perfect so we are done with this now i don't want this text to be visible all the time i want only the strokes to be visible so for that i'm going to just simply select this press ctrl d to duplicate this now let's select the bottom layer and if you go under the characters panel you can see we have this fill i'm going to set this to none and for the stroke i'm going to just increase its value so i'm going to set this to something like two or one maybe let's set this to two we can probably disable the top layer just to see the bottom layer so here you can see we have the stroke now i don't want the top layer to be visible so let's pick somewhere around here so first i'm going to select both of them and i'm going to just trim it something like this so that we have this now i'm going to select this press t and we are going to play with its opacity so first i'm going to set this to zero so that it is not visible and somewhere around here we can add a keyframe for opacity then move one frame ahead by pressing page down key again set this to 100 so that we have this visible again couple of frames ahead we can add a keyframe let's move one frame ahead set this to zero so that we have this thing now somewhere around here we can again make it 100 like that so here you can see we have this now once it has come up somewhere around here i want this to have some sort of blinking animation so for that we can add a keyframe move on one frame ahead set this to zero again let's copy this and just move a couple of frames ahead and just paste them now i'm going to do the same thing for the other text as well so for this i'm going to select this press ctrl d again select the bottom layer we don't want the fill so i'm going to set this to none we only want the stroke and for this one i'm going to set this to two as well let me just quickly see so here we have our strokes again we are going to do the same animation so let's just copy this and let's select this press t and let's pick a point somewhere around here press ctrl v so here you can see we have this blinking sort of animation but i don't want these many blinks so we can probably move this further so i'm going to probably move these ahead as well and we can probably delete this last one so that we have this final reveal just right there so now if i play back you can see we have our text and we have our flickering as well so we are done with everything now our next step is to add some really nice stylized blur to this so in order to do that i'm going to first create a solid so right click new and let's add a solid color you can pick whatever you want just click on ok on this one i'm going to apply fractal noise let's drag it onto this now we are going to play around with the contrast and i'm going to increase this quite a bit brightness i'm going to set this to something like that let's go under the transform and i'm going to just scale this up quite a bit something like that now i'm going to disable this layer so that we don't see it now i'm going to add an adjustment layer on top of everything and on this one i'm going to apply camera lens blur so let's drag it onto this now before we change anything let's go to the blur map and let's select the solid which we just created which is this one now if you want you can rename your layers let's change this from source to effects and mask now if i increase this blur radius some of these areas will be completely blurred and some of these will be visible now this effect is taking this information from this layer so if i turn this you can see that wherever we have this black areas these are visible wherever we have these white areas these are not visible so now you can see we have this now you can play around with the scale and the position so i'm going to just increase this you can also play around with the evolution so we basically want a little bit of dark area here and here so just play around with the evolution you can also play around with the turbulence position something like this so now if i disable this you can see that we have these elements these areas visible and these are completely blurred again we can play around with these values so let me just quickly select this and i'm going to just simply play around with a couple of these settings so let's increase this up 
let's move this to the top and yeah i think this is looking fine we have our subject completely focused and we have our text as well so we can select this and let's lower this down so i'm going to just set this to something like 9 or 10 maybe so yeah, i think this is looking fine we have a couple of these areas which are blurred let's set this to full again if you want to have some extreme blur then you can just crank this value up and you can play around with this as well now we are done with this now our next step is to add some chromatic aberration to this now it's quite easy all you have to do is just add an adjustment layer and on this one i'm going to apply an effect called quick chromatic aberration now this is a free plugin which helps you to create chromatic aberration so i'll put a link in the description from where you can download this and after that just install this after installing you can just quickly search it under the effects and preset and just drag it onto this layer so let me just quickly zoom in and over here we can play around with a couple of these properties so first i'm going to play around with the scale so let's lower this down a little bit so here you can see we are getting some chromatic aberration now again it's completely up to you you can just make it however you want so i'm going to just set this to something like this perfect so here you can see we have these very nice chromatic aberration and i think this is looking perfect so if i play back you can see we have this animation now you will notice something that sometimes your main character which is this you can see that it is blurred over here again if you want to fix that just play around with the position of the turbulent effect something like this just to make this completely focused like that so here you can see we have our look so we are pretty much done with everything now if you want to spice this up a little bit then you can have a logo and you can just simply cut out and just place it at random positions to make a flickering kind of effect but if you don't have a logo then you can use this technique which i use a lot so all you have to do is just create an adjustment layer so right click new let's add an adjustment layer and on this one i'm going to apply a invert effect let's select this and let's drag it onto this now it will invert the full comp but we only want some specific areas so for that we can create a mask so let's select this rectangle tool now you can just click and go to wherever place you want now just click and drag and you can see that it will create a mask and it will affect only that area now you can just have a random mask appear here and there to give a really nice look so we can just simply move it over here so you can see that we have this now let's move a couple of frames ahead press ctrl shift t to duplicate this to split this layer now we can double click on this mask to just select this and just move it random places you can play around with its size as well something like this so here you can see we have these two now again let's move a couple of frames again select this press ctrl shift t just select this and randomly move it here and there just play around with its size and just make it however you want something like this let's move a couple of frames ahead again press ctrl shift t and i'm going to just simply select this and i'm going to just place it over here just keep on repeating this step and just place these at random places so now if i play back you can see that we have added these very nice glitches and you can see that it really makes this stand out now we are done with our animation and the best thing is that if you want to change the image or text it's very easy so let's say i want to change this image and all you have to do is just simply select both of these layers and just pick whatever image you want to replace it with so let's replace it with this one so hold on the alt key and just drag these images so you can see that it will replace these now it's a little bit smaller so i'm going to just increase its size so let's scale this up you can play around with its position as well and now let's change the text as well so you can just simply double click and just type whatever you want just make sure to change the text on both of these layers so let's do it over here as well perfect so here i have changed the image and text so now if i play back you can see that all of these images are already applied and we have our animation so this is how you can create these kind of cool sports opener so the project files for this tutorial is available on my patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.